um, more mental grind than anything. You know, first half of game, I didn't have anything. I thought I became hard. We were buzzing, obviously. Our lineup was pretty stacked. And they came with a young team, a good team, right? They were, they were buzzing. They were working hard, and um, some, so, so, so did we. But you know, first half of the game was just, you know, I was just trying to get into it. You know, obviously those games are tough for goaltender when you don't see as many shots, and then, you know, we get one post and uh, one missed, one, um, one missed uh, empty net, right? So you're like. You're thinking what's going on, right? And in the third period, you know, they start putting putting the pucks in the net, and then you know, obviously, you know, not the ending we wanted, but learning lesson for me, uh, for sure. You know, just stay with it. Lots of lots of emotions towards the end. You know, when we scored two goals, they, they were called off. So, as I said, learning experience for me, and obviously, we didn't want to be losing those games, especially against those guys. It caused a contrast between the two games that you played. Now, I mean, 37 shots, I think, in Seattle, and this one. I, I don't know if there's maybe a positive in that you get. Both versions of it in your yeah, I mean, obviously that game in Seattle, totally different game. I saw lots, of, lots of shots. So obviously for a goalie, you know, it just feels better. But at the same time, you know, it's part of it, and I think that's the most, that's the hardest thing in NHL. You gotta be there, you know, uh, on, on, um, uh, you gotta just make those key saves. You know, when it, when you're up one nothing, and you know, you have five minutes left, and guys coming down at you, you, gotta, you just gotta make that save. You know, because that end of the season can make a difference. So. Uh, you know, I didn't make that one, so we went to overtime, and you guys saw what happened there. So, sucks, but you know, st still better t to lose now than in uh, what month. What's uh, what's your secret then to staying engaged when you're not seeing a lot of puck? Have you? No, you just gotta track the puck, you know. And then you know, once the c shot comes, you just gotta have that mentality. You, you just take a shot after shot you, because you can't be looking at the clock. You can look at the shot clock because then you, you know, you just probably get depressed. I know you guys played overtime in Seattle. Obviously, you played overtime against Knight. You practiced it yesterday. What what has to happen for this group to be more successful in three on three? Uh, I mean, start of the season, right? Like uh, we, we started to practice it, so I'm pretty sure you know we're gonna show the results. And I'm it's it's just better to lose an OT now than in uh, two weeks from now. So I'm pretty sure that guys are. Guys are save, saving those goals, and go uh, the goalies are saving those saves. We have seen you guys practicing three on three, though. So is it a bit of a point of emphasis given the way overtime went for you guys last year? Well, 100 percent. You know, uh, obviously overtime can go either way, but at the same time, you know, I'm pretty sure that if you practice it, and we have so many, so many guys that they can play three on three, so many guys that are super skilled and really good and confident on the puck. So I'm pretty sure if you're just gonna keep practicing, we are, we are gonna, you know, uh, we are gonna take those those extra points and then we can make a huge difference at the, towards the end of the season.